There are all sorts of everyday objects that can be used in completely different ways than they were intended, and often become even more useful as a result. So, here are 10 such ideas to repurpose those odds and ends around your home, and move them on to bigger and better things. Amazing! Number 10. Precision Foam Cutter This can be a surefire advantage for any cosplay enthusiast or those who make crafts and other such things out of foam. All you'll need for this is the following. Two old silver keys, a flexible and conductive wire, perhaps from an old broken soldering iron, and a C battery. First, you need to take your wire and wrap one end snugly around the end of both keys. After that, simply press the rounded part of the key to each side of a C battery. This will allow small amounts of current to run from the battery down the keys and through the wire. While holding tightly, you should now be able to pull the wire through any styrofoam pieces you wish to cut as easily as you would with butter. Number 9. Makeshift Wrench From time to time, we all lose the right tool for the job, so here's a way to make sure that you can still carry on with the job even if you happen to misplace your wrench. Simply take a normal bolt and thread a nut up to the top. Then thread another nut until it has closed enough to grip whatever you're trying to loosen. Now it should provide you enough leverage to get the job done. Number 8. Easy Bottle Cleaning One of the worst parts of doing any set of dishes has to be when it comes to cleaning inside those impossible bottles and carafes. There is a simple solution to this problem, however, and all you need is a pair of magnets and some sponges. First, you need to cut a small enough slit into the sponge you'll be using to clean. Make sure to get it deep enough to the center of the sponge and then slip in one of the magnets. After you've gotten the magnet into the sponge, glue or stitch the sponge shut. Once the glue has cured, all you need to do to clean out those annoying vessels is to simply slip the sponge with the magnet inside and drag your other magnet around the outside. Now you're pulling your soapy magnet sponge tightly around the inside where you had so much trouble reaching before. Number 7. Drill Without Dust Drilling is a messy task. The dust goes everywhere. Save yourself from a huge, messy cleanup by using post-it notes. All you have to do is stick one of these underneath where you're going to drill and then fold the bottom upward so that it creases. Now simply let this folded area hang and go ahead and drill the hole. This makeshift dustpan will catch all the falling dust. And once you're done, all you need to do is remove it from the wall and chuck it in the trash. Simple. Number six. Clean your CDs and DVDs with a banana. CDs have begun to fade away in the world of MP3s and other digital media, but there are still some of those who swear by them. The same goes for DVDs and video games, and there is nothing worse than your favorite disc skipping all the time due to fingerprints and other problems the disc might develop. There is a neat trick you can employ for the cleaning process to fix some of those scratches and marks that should keep some life into your disc, however. Using a cut banana, you can rub it across the surface of the disc and cover the dings and dents. Let it dry, then wipe away any excess. You should find that those scratches have filled in somewhat with the banana, and depending on how heavily scratched it was, it will now skip less, and in some cases, not at all. Number 5. Wall Hangings with Pop Tabs there are all manner of designs available when it comes to hanging pictures and other such things on walls. Some of them can be quite expensive as well, but there's no need to break the bank just to hang up a few pictures. All you really need are screws and a collection of pop can tabs. Securing the tabs to the wall with the screws through one hole allows you to hand those photo brackets through the second hole, and given the flexibility that the pop tabs have, this also provides you with a little more ease of use than most firm hooks normally sold for this purpose. Number 4 extra traction on the snow and ice. Your favorite shoes or boots just may not be doing the trick anymore when it comes to being sure-footed in the winter. Before you decide to go and spend money on another pair of footwear, however, you might want to consider this option. Take a normal stapler and regularly, across the normal traction points of your footwear, punch a staple. Do these across the entirety of your footwear and you've given yourself some much-needed traction. Number 3. Boost your Wi-Fi Sometimes what you're paying for just isn't enough, or perhaps one side of the house just doesn't get the same speeds as another side. All you need to do to fix this is a can of pop. Cut the top off the can, then cut a vertical line down to the bottom and cut that off too. Now unroll the can 
and take two lengths of duct tape and cover those sharp edges. Now take some sticky tack or similar substance and run it along the bottom of your open pop can. Press that tack to the back of your Wi-Fi router, making sure to still leave some room for any cables to be plugged in. That little tin wall you've made for your router will actually boost the signal. Number 2. Battery Lighter Sometimes you need fire, but you might not have a lighter on you. Don't worry though, because all you need is a AA battery, thin metallic paper like the kind you get off chewing gum, and a piece of a cotton ball. Take a rectangle of the paper that is long enough to reach both poles of the battery. In the center of that paper, cut out a small U-shape so that there is a thin bar of paper along the bottom that still keeps it whole. Pull some of the cotton from your cotton ball and lightly wrap it around the cut portion of your paper. Now press both ends of the paper to the poles of the battery, and within seconds, it should generate enough heat to ignite the cotton. Number 1. DIY Microscope Have you ever wanted to really look at something, like see the very fine print or textures of small details? Well, you don't have to go to your local lab to do it anymore. All you need is an old laser pointer, a bobby pin, and your cell phone. Take apart the laser pointer and remove the lens. Now gently take that lens and slide it into the bobby pin so that it grips firmly. Now, you can either hold that lens in front of your cell phone camera or just tape it to the back of your phone, and you've made yourself a macro lens. You probably don't want to take selfies with it, though. Here are some amazing shots we achieved by doing this. Hopefully you'll find uses for these quick and easy hacks. Maybe they'll save you some money, or maybe they'll just make your day a little easier. If you found some of these useful, make sure to click that like button. If it can solve a problem for a friend, please share it. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on anything else like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.